in the previous video we um, we were working on the truth tables for three propositions and now we are going in this video we are going to do a truth table for some propositional forms with four propositions so I'll add P Q R let me and S. Okay, so we have four propositions one, two, three, four. We have two truth tables here. Two, uh, sorry, two values here, two values here, two values here, two values here. So this will be two to the power of four. So we have 16. Okay, so the column here will be have 16 values. Okay. So I'm going to use this table and of course I have to fulfill all this now. Okay, let's do it one by one. So P, Q, R and S. And to begin with, let us say that F, S is true here. So first we do non Q. So if Q here is true, non Q will be false. And now we do non Q or B. So non Q or uh, P. P is true. So this one will be true. Right? And here at the end, let's do non Q or P. That's this one. Right? Uh, oh. I have to do one before this one. Let us do R or S. So R is true, S is true, so this one is true. Okay? Okay. Now that we have all this, let us do this one. Non Q or P and R or S. Okay, so non Q or P, non Q or P is true, and R or S is true, so this one will be true. Okay, so in this one, false, true, true, let us say true again right non q this is true so this one will be false right N not q or p not q or p not q this one becomes false p is false so this one is false right r or s r is true s is true so this one is true um, and now, this last one, it will be non-Q or P, non-Q or P is false, and R or S, R or S is true, but false and true, this is obviously false. Okay? So here for the, the force entry, so, true, false, true, right, this one will be true also. So, non-Q, this one now, this is true, because Q is false. Non-Q or P, so non-Q, that will be true now, so this will be true. R or S both true so this one is true and let's see what happens in the last one now non Q or P non Q or P is this one true and R or S true so this one will be obviously true okay now we have to 
keep on fulfilling all this right we move to this one let us call it true we are going to call true to all these ones okay so not q is false not q here will be true this time right uh, non q or p non q that will be true we already know that this is true this is very important i will explain this later okay for instance non q or p you know that non not q is true since this is a or you don't have to check for p okay p it happens that it is true but either if p is true or not it doesn't matter and you say why shouldn't i check all this well if you're working on a very hard proof checking p might take you a very long time or even be impossible okay so you also have to do this in mathematics uh, meaning you have to get a conclusion with as less information as possible okay so in this case you could immediately say true because non q q here is false non q is true and since this is a or p the value of p here the, the this value of p not important for you okay r or s for instance this is the same here r or s you look at r so you know that this is a or right you look at r r is true so this is true you don't have to go and check for us okay and now not q or p true and r or s true here you have to check the information because this is a and so this will be true so i fulfilled some of the values in this this table uh, so this should be half of the table because we only have here one two three four five six seven eight values and they will be 16 i'm not going to do the rest of this but this is a good exercise okay uh, i hope i did not make any silly mistake if i did please let me know